From saltpeter mining during the Civil War to the man in black himself, Johnny Cash, finding a new lease on life within its cavernous beauty, Nukajak Cave is one of Tennessee's most fascinating hidden gems. The cave partially flooded when TVA finished Nickajack Dam in 1967, changing this scenic spot forever. Most of the cave is now inaccessible, at least to humans. So there's, uh, we, we haven't figured out exactly what's still underwater and what's above water yet. There's one species that still has easy access, the gray bat. Nickajack Cave attracts them by the thousands every summer. The front part of the cave has this beautiful high dome in it. And that is what our federally endangered gray bats love for the summertime when they're having their babies. They are attracted to warm caves with this high dome area where they can have their babies, keep them at the right, um, at the right temperature, right humidity, and uh, where they can cluster together. These mother gray bats emerge from the mouth of the cave to forage and return to feed their young. There's just this mass emergence, which is really uh, beautiful to watch. Visitors flock to the cave entrance to watch this stunning phenomenon. What's even more amazing is that the mama bats know exactly where to find their young. And they'll come back in several hours later and find their pups amongst, um, uh, you know, amongst thousands of other pups. They'll find their one and then they'll be able to, to feed that one out of all the thousands that are hanging right there in the dark. In recent years, the gray bat population has made a big comeback despite hurdles posed by human development and white nose syndrome. That's a fungus that's deadly for many bat species. It's all thanks to conservation efforts that the gray bat population at Nickajack is thriving. If you take a little time to protect a species, you can help with the recovery of a species and you can provide a safe place for, you know, birthing 50,000 pups annually. <laughs> Each summer, TBA hosts its annual bat count to help raise awareness about gray bats and keep tabs on their population. If you're looking for a summertime activity, you might want to consider counting some bats. Mary Mays, News 2.